Hey guys, welcome to Daily Entomologist. Um, this video is just going to be a short, quicker update on what's been going on in progress with my collection. Alrighty, so I am very happy to say that I've finally finished all my pinning and now in the process of labeling. Um, so as you can see, this is all the stuff that was in the uh, uh, jars of alcohol. These ones are dry, so I have them ready right there and everything here is still drying out uh, but yeah it's really nice to finally be done with all that and by the way it's going I'll have everything labeled and finished by the time I get out and start doing more collecting um, so I'm just gonna look at a couple things here real quick. I show you what I have. Got a lot of small sweat bees there that I pointed. Um, you can see the There's a pasta in there. A giant Newman wasp. See the long ovipositor. Uh, let's see. Got a couple of Oz, we got actually throughout here, we got quite a few Osmia. There's really some beautiful specimens here. And got a Velvet ants. Got a cuckoo wasp there. Got a few cuckoo wasps actually. So I got some good stuff in that one. Got some really good stuff. Some more sweat bees there. She got a couple beetles that I got in the pan uh, bull traps. See the those large uh, pollen wasps. I actually got a couple of those. There's another one right there. They're actually really, really cool. So as you, as you can see, I got quite a few species and a whole lot of specimens. Um, here's actually a robber fly. See how much it looks like a bumblebee.
Pulas up there in the corner. Oh, I got some uh, cuckoo bees. No, uh, no meas. Love it, ant there. Seratinas. Oh, really, really awesome. And this will do a quick look at the ones I have out here. many eyelids but yeah I know they don't look uh, super uh, like uh, symmetrical and spread out and everything but I kind of do the minimum because I have a lot of insects in my collection, so I try to save as much space as possible, but still do it so I, I can see some of the see the key ID characteristics. Um, and the way I have them does just that. So I still be able to ID them all and everything. Uh, so, yeah. It's exciting. I've got some more unit trays here. Um, to put some more stuff in and uh, show you some other things I'm working on right now. Okay, so I'm doing labeling right now. I'm working on uh, the mosquitoes. Um, recently just acquired uh, this book, Butterflies of North America, by James Scott. It's all species accounts for every recorded species in the United States, North America. And also, with really awesome illustrations and uh, color plates. Uh, so far I've only kind of just skimmed through it, but definitely something I'm going to start taking a look at. So it's a pretty big book, so. Really excited to explore that. And although I keep all, all my records on my computer, I always like the idea of having a paper copies as well. So I can uh, recording all my identified specimens in here so I have uh, the species, family, state, year was collected, I need by uh, which number specimen it was. Nothing too fancy, just simple records, but figured it's an important thing to do just to have it as backup just in case something ever happened to all my stuff on the computer. Um, all these are boxes are full of stuff I've been labeling, mostly ants, but now the mosquitoes as well. And that's pretty much the main update. If anything else happens I'll make some more videos but that's some really awesome stuff that start making videos of other things like uh, 
I don't know if the last video I showed you with the CP Gillette Museum of Arthropod Diversity. If you haven't checked that video out, check it out. But uh, I'm going to be spending a lot more time there and definitely going to be making a lot more videos of from specimens and that collection and everything on top of my own collection and collecting videos and all that type of stuff. So it should be some really awesome insights I'll be able to show you guys and talk about. Uh, but hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, see you guys next time and keep on bugging.